It's a new day, baby. And it's everyone's favorite workout, arms. Yee! We're gonna smash these puppies and make some fucking gains, baby. So I've already done two sets. Uh, and then you're joining me for set number three and there are a total of four sets today. So this is again, like all consuming, all out, mass pump, smash and annihilate the biceps because that's what we want to do. We want to annihilate every single muscle that we hit and make sure that we maximize time in the gym, maximize your effort and come out swole as for baby. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we're doing year, day after day. So what am I doing? Now that is the question. Again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Pretty please with cherries and tops. Yee! You don't want to miss out on all my gains. Well, more importantly, motivation for you to get some gains. I hope for hopefully you get inspired or get some ideas. And the most important thing for me is to show you what I'm doing and maybe give you some ideas because I've been training for over 10 years and I've tried out a multitude of different training methodologies, both in bodybuilding specific as well as other sports um, areas. Because, I, you know, like bodybuilding in and of itself isn't a sport. Um, it's aesthetics, uh, whereas you can use bodybuilding for other sports. And it is, I've learned so much incorporating it into other sports and finding out what actually works for maximizing gains. Because that's what we want to do. We want to maximize gains. And we're doing power building at the moment. So I'm doing a huge power building block where I'm focusing on my strength but not a specific number because of things that are happening in my personal life. I don't want to be focused too much on one specific number. And, you know, if I don't hit it, then I'm like fucking demotivated. So I am amalgamating my power, power lifting training with my bodybuilding training, maximizing my time in the gym because that's what I love to do, making sure that I maximize what I do with the maximal intent, getting gains, strength, and everything out of it. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing some biceps, functional, functional biceps. My favorite way to hit biceps, because sometimes, you know, just bicep curls can get a bit boring. So I am doing chin-ups, okay? So obviously that's reverse grip so that your palms are facing you, hitting your biceps a lot more than obviously if you were doing wide grip, which would hit the wide grip overhand, which would obviously hit lats a lot more. We're doing four tempo rigs, as heavy as we possibly can. Um, I've got 25 kilograms uh, attached to me. So I'm doing four tempo as in nice explosive upward pull and then control the downward descent for four reps. If you can't do weighted chin-ups, you can do body weight chin-ups with this. If you can't do body weight chin-ups, you can do assisted or using a machine or elastic bands, or you can do jumping negatives. And then you can do a, um, either if you can do weighted, then you obviously do body weight for the next drop. If you can't do um, pull-ups at all, you obviously do assisted to start. And then you can go to barbell curls, and then you can end with a hammer grip. So there is a there is an option for everyone, no matter where you are, no matter your sort of skill level, no matter your, your strength level, okay? So don't be intimidated because, you see, I'm doing weighted chin-ups, okay? That is like the end goal if you're just starting out. But know that it's possible. I've been training for over 10 years. So it's not like going to happen overnight, okay? But it will happen. If you stay consistent, if you show up day after day, week after week, year after year, you'll get here, okay? And remember, when when you hear 10 years and you think, oh, that's a lot of time. I don't want to dedicate that much of time to something like that. The time's going to pass either way. So you might as well be making some gains whilst you're at it, you know? You might as well be hitting some goals whilst you're at it. Time's going to pass, okay? So do things that you enjoy and you love and you set those fucking goals and you stick to it. Okay, so we're doing four tempo reps, explosive upward pull. This is going to make a massive pump, okay? You're going you're gonna to love it because I'm fucking loving it. Okay, 
So, four tempo reps. Right. <clears throat> Control that descent on the way down, okay? Get your chin over every single rep, okay? Keep your core nice and tight. <clears throat> One more. <clears throat> yeah. So four reps like that, then you drop the weight, okay? And then we're going 10 reps of body weight. I probably won't be able to do all 10 and broken, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, okay. Got four left. You don't want to race too long, but obviously long enough. Oh, I can, can do last four reps. So four reps left, let's go. Okay, four reps, four reps. Come on, four, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now straight into hammer grip curls. So your palms are facing each other and I'm gonna use momentum to get it up but control the negative, okay? <sighs> control that negative, feel the burn and push through. Keep on going, keep on going, come on. <sighs> One more. Okay, now we're gonna do partials until failure. Partials being as much range of motion as you possibly can until you literally can't lift the weight <clears throat> anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting some swole ass pump going. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, like, you can see I literally get to the point where I can't even swing at all or use any momentum or strict form to get up. So, and the reason I'm swinging up, okay, is because, so the upward action, okay, getting it up will fail before the negative, the d downward descent, okay? So I'm swinging up to make sure I can control that negative, okay? So that's the most important thing. Learn the movement and then you can learn how to kind of manipulate it for your goals, okay? So I'm swinging up and then controlling that negative as much as I possibly can, squeezing my bicep as I put the weight back down again, okay? And you wanna make sure you lock out completely at the bottom and then you go again, okay? The same with the chin-ups. You wanna make sure that you extend fully. Okay, don't stay here and do partials. We wanna go all the way down and then all the way up, get that chin over the bar and then control the negative, okay? With the normal just body weight pull-ups, I'm not doing a negative or anything, I'm just like, starting to fill that bicep with as much blood as possibly can, maximize the movement, and then go to straight to the hammer and knock it out until complete failure, okay? Between sets, I'm resting three to five minutes, so it's quite a long rest, but I want to make sure that I'm recovered enough to maximize the weighted strength portion of the superset, okay? So I'm, tr I'm trying to maximize the strength along with the hypertrophy, making it super heavy, but controlled and doing power lifting form, okay, um, for the first part of the training and then going straight into hypertrophy, maximizing blood flow, getting swole as fuck, babe. That's what we want. I got one more set and then I'm going to move on to triceps, the horseshoe. We want to work that next. Yee, from there, from the biceps to the triceps. And remember, triceps make up a large portion of your arm. So if you're wanting to get a nice, thick double bicep, okay, make sure you work your tricep 
because that is what gives you that thickness to your arm, not the bicep. The bicep, yes, it will give you some thickness, but that the swole thickness of the arm comes from the tricep, that horseshoe, okay? That's what we want to focus on, making sure we maximize the tricep gains, yeah! Okay, so biceps are done, and now we're moving on to triceps. Remember, the thickness of the arm comes from the tricep, and this is an epic, epic, epic superset drop set. So I'm using the rings, but these are the most unstable out of all the dip movements. So if you are still learning, definitely use bars. Otherwise, you can just do bench dips, okay? And you could do a weight variety by putting weight on your lap and then just doing the dips, okay? So those are all possibilities that you can do. But as I say, this is the most in unstable element. So only do this version if you're really, really confident and comfortable with the rings, okay? So we're doing a very, very, very similar approach to the biceps, maximizing the heavy though. And luckily enough, my triceps and my biceps strength movements are very similar in terms of weight. So just like with the chin-ups where I did 25 kilograms, I'm doing 25 kilograms with the ring dips. My uh, bar dips are a lot stronger, um, which shows you just how much of an instability element the um, the rings cause that I have to go so much lighter. I think my max ring dip is like 40 kilograms. No, yeah, about 45 kilograms, whereas my bar dips are 85 kilograms. So that shows you just how much harder the rings are compared to the bar. So we're doing uh, tempo again, really controlling the rings. I have a feeling when I jump up into position, you're going to lose my head, but I'm sorry about that. <laughs> right. Okay. So four tempos. So lock out at the top, control your way down and press. Control your way down. Press. <sighs> Three, four. Okay, then drop the weight. We're going for 10 body weight, no tempo. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, right. So straight from that, we're going to go into diamond push-ups. So diamond push-ups, what we do is we literally create a diamond with our fingers, okay? Keep your elbows in, keep your core nice and tight. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, uh, Okay, straight into dips on a bench, okay? So, oh, again, what you want to do oof, is keep your elbows nice and locked in position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was fucking awesome. So that is like a really awesome kind of drop set. I don't know whether I should call it more of a superset or a drop set. It's a bit of both. It's like an amalgamation because you're hitting the tricep just with diff slightly different movements. Um, but it's all tricep and it's just that annihilation. So when you can't do the one movement, you drop to a slightly easier movement and you keep on hitting that tricep. And then you drop to a slightly easier movement and then you keep on hitting the tricep and you just go and go and go until you literally hit failure, that wall where you cannot move the weight anymore, no matter what m manipulation you could go to, it's gone. Like there's nothing left. You're like, okay, 
my triceps have hit that 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 wall of failure yeah that's what we want okay we want to really destroy that tricep as much as we possibly can and that was fucking glasses so i've got it's four working sets, three to five minutes rest between sets. We've done two, so I've got two more. Going to rest a little bit, uh, rehydrate, get in those electrolytes, and then go again. We just pump, 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 making gains, baby.